Is that you Megan? Actress who bears a very striking resemblance to Harry's bride to be gets mistaken, for the suit's star on film sets, and they even auditioned for the same roles. When Celeste Creel walks into a room, with her flowing dark hair, cute nose and sparkling eyes, she could have walked straight off the front page of newspapers worldwide. Because the 32-year-old from California, has a very famous doppelganger, Prince Harry's bride-to-be, Meghan Markle. Celeste, who lives in Los Angeles, where Meghan is originally from and, like her, is an actress, said, I also work as a professional hand and leg model and, at a recent photo shoot, the crew were talking and I could hear whispering. Then someone asked, was I her? They meant Meghan. I had to say no. Now, keen to capitalize on her likeness to the future royal, Celeste, who has an 11-month-old daughter, Ruby, with her boyfriend, sketch writer and actor Bobby Quinn Rice, is planning to tout herself as a Meghan Markle look-alike. I've never even watched Suits, the series that Meghan made her name as an actress in, she said, also admitting she had not heard of her before all the media hype over her relationship with Prince Harry. After I was told by a friend that I looked like her, I tuned in to see her on the show, and I can definitely see our similarity. Professional hand and leg model Celeste, who was born in New York State, but moved to California to pursue a career, in Hollywood a number of years ago, even sent her image to look-alike agencies, in the UK who, while impressed, were unable to sign her as she was US-based. Megan's come into the public conscious, Celeste, who also runs a Reiki healing school called Celestial Medicine, said. Her forthcoming wedding at Windsor Castle, in May 2018 will make her even more popular. But it's not just their physical appearance which the two women have, in common. Celeste believes she may even have auditioned for some of the same roles as Megan, in the past. I think she won them though, she laughed. We're also both in our 30s and biracial. We've had similar experiences of growing up biracial in California. Like Megan, whose mother, Doria Ragland, is black, and father, Thomas Markle, is white, Celeste's parents are of mixed racial heritage. My father, Bryant Greel, who now lives in Tennessee and is American, is white and originally of Irish, English and Scottish heritage, Celeste explained. My mother, Margaret Washington, is American. Her ancestors were both Choctaw Native Americans, and from the Democratic Republic of Congo and, like her famous double, Celeste is close to both her parents, and considers her mixed-race background to be a benefit, and a blessing. My parents are wonderful. Both university lecturers, they are very bright and very loving, she explained. But being a biracial actress in Hollywood is interesting. I wonder if Megan, too can relate to these experiences. Although Celeste admits to having a limited knowledge of the British royal family, she is a big fan. As I understand it, the royal family in today's world, is more symbolic than anything else, she said. But don't get me wrong, that's no small thing. They represent British heritage, and to some extent, British culture and identity and the history of the British Empire. She also spoke kindly about Princess Diana, who, had she lived, would have been Meghan's mother-in-law. Princess Diana brought real opportunities to the monarchy, she said. She did this through her independence, establishing a separate identity tied to humanitarian efforts, divorcing Charles, and dating an Egyptian man. I sense that Harry is building upon the tradition of his mother's independent spirit. It is so touching. Referring to a television contest in the UK for Meghan lookalikes, stifling giggles, she added, the contestants weren't wonderful. But, when it comes to the real deal, she thinks Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, will make an indomitable team. I think they'll be a great couple. I would even like to see Prince Harry and Princess Meghan run my country, and shake things up over here. She laughed. I think they would be wonderful.